I've fallen and I can't get up. Welcome back to Sun the Sea. Well, here we are again where we left off last time. We're in the colony of Venderbites. I think we did everything we need to do. Yes, we did. A quick look at the shops. Uh, we sold off everything. Yes, we have plenty of money. Let's set sail, shall we? See where the world takes us this time. So, okay, I'm planning to go down south. We'll bypass London, we'll go a little bit south of it, and then we shall loop back to London. Then, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do another round of trading. See if we can buff this uh, vessel up a little bit, because it's not quite up to going much further. So, I'll buff it up, and I will show you highlights. And that way, hopefully, you'll get all the story, but less of the actual sitting around watching me fight bats which I'm sure is fun for everyone we discovered Tana Tuk means nothing to me but at least we got 50 fragments out of it discovered the flocks of bats outside the tomb colonies and here they come the bats Wait. Okay, a couple of illuminations, a couple of booms. Let's just knock them out of the sky, shall we? So, while this is happening, I don't know about where you are, but uh, Doctor Who gets shown tonight in this country, and I, for one, am looking forward to it. Always been a big fan ever since I was a small child, to be honest with you, and. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So, should we gather the corpses or should we dispose of the corpses? Let's put them in the pot. Onwards! So, if you watch Doctor Who, tell me, who's your favourite Doctor? Who's your favourite assistant? Who's your favourite bat? No, they don't have bats, do they? We do. Let's kill them. Really curious to find out. How if I started it going, really, wouldn't it? So here we go. Illumination. Illumination. And boom. There we go. And the supplies. We get a little more. I suppose if we actually get enough of them, we can start selling them off in places and make a little bit more money. Get your bat. Roll up, roll up. Get your bat here while it's hot. Actually, thinking of that, do we have any stories? Uh, we have a secret. That's not what I want. We have a. F no, we don't have any stories. So it's a waste of time stopping in at that lighthouse. On the other hand, we can kill these bats instead. Here we go. At the very least, I intend to stop at Hunter's Keep and meet one of the sisters. And get that story running again, and then we'll head south, find the next colony south, see what it's like, and then we'll loop back up, and we'll stop at London. And I'm aiming for a 30-minute episode today. So we'll see what we need to do to fill that up, shall we? Okay, off we go. Yes, took your guys' opinions on board. I do like the fact that things block the lights from those lighthouses. Yes, where was I? Yes, taking your opinions on board, guys. Thank you very much for the feedback um, in previous episodes. You do understand that I record these in blocks, so I, I, I didn't immediately act on it. But everyone said that they'd rather have 30-minute episodes. So 30-minute episodes, it will be... If you didn't want 30 minute episodes, you should have said something. Hunter's Keep. A dark, uh, a hump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other undersea islands. But there's a grand house, windows aglow, lawns impossibly green and lush in the full starlight. 
rakes gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides, an unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Okay, so uh, let's take a walk in the gardens. The lawns are neatly trimmed, and the night flowers underneath bloom here in profusion. You watch the hedgerows, but nothing comes to menace you. You can savour the place. There is a pointed cough from the shadow of a potting shed, an angular woman in a mage uniform. Her eyes, a peculiar sulphurous yellow, advances frowning. She indicates the house, turns on her heel and leaves. We know something of Hunter's Keep, and we've lost five terror. Okay, let's reconnoiter the island. Ships ready come here, nothing changes, even the weather. The house is in the heart of the island, the house and the sisters. But the Admiralty will be happy to know that nothing's changed, at least. Right, we we gained a port report. Let's finally present ourselves at the house. A maid with smouldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlour where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are, are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe, and the cheerful one is Lucy. You're at a good time for lunch. Will you join us? Okay, so I know I've had lunch with those two, and I've never unlocked this one, because I don't think I've ever had recent news when I've got to this island. Something to remember for the next time, perhaps. So... I'm going to have lunch with Phoebe. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats her time on the table as she, she speak, as she speaks, as if to a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the full stars glittering on the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The undersea shimmers below, islands like mineral specimens on the black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the, the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath all of her biscuits. Right, so we've gained supplies, we've lost hunger, we've lost terror. We've gained a memory of distant shores, which is quite useful. And we are now equated with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. Right, can we do anything else? Nothing new. Okay, let's push off. We're going to go past London and head south and see what we find next. After the last game, I'm a little bit reluctant to go much further than how far we've gone north. Because I'm not convinced that this vessel is up to it yet. But, um... I don't know. I think we need better illumination and at least a bigger gun. And we'll try to get those over the next couple of episodes. Uh, here we go past London. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if we have enough fuel, actually. Let's see. Let's just go a little bit. We'll turn around, say, when we have about two fuel we left. The waves are flecked with light. Something awaits us in port. Ooh. Crabs. I wonder if they want to be friends. I wonder if they can catch. Oh, yes, they can. Right, let's fight this thing. Couple of illuminates, couple of attacks. Only has five hit points, one attack should do. Yeah, 
Yes, that's done it. Okay, we can butcher it or we can dissect it. We have plenty of food, so let's dissect it. You haul it aboard and set to work with your knives and acids, and it flops unexpectedly to life as Zaylas rush to your aid with guns and boarding pipes. By the time you've finished, you're unharmed, but there's not much left of the beast. You tip it reluctantly into the Z. We failed the challenge. Never mind. Let's move on. You discover the auroral megalops infestation outside fallen London. Something has driven these growing terrors north. Okay, let's fight another one. Boink, 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 boink. Job done. And there we go. Okay, still plenty of supplies. Let's dissect this one again, see how we go. We gained a fragment. You set to work with your knives and acids. It's an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops of one of the deep sea crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in those troglytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, and those sparks leap now and then to your knife. Okay, and here comes another one. Here comes a third. Reminds me of a Monty Python song. What song? Here comes another one. Here it comes again. Here comes another one. Oh, when would it ever end? Well, you asked. Oh, well, you didn't. Who cares? We had fun. And if you're lucky, I'll never sing again. What is the chance of this? 77% chance. For a fragment, we don't need the food. There we go. Let's move on. Let's try butchering this one. Ooh. An island. We've discovered Murray Straits and Mutton Island. Okay, let's fight this one and we'll butcher this one. See what happens. Given how weak it is, I should imagine we won't get supplies out of it, but we'll see. And there we go. Okay, let's butcher it. The crew will feast. The glowing fresh is unstable. Fresh? I think that meant to be flesh. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Okay, so we lost our hunger, but we didn't gain any supplies. Not bad. It does mean that you can travel these waters for free, effectively, when it comes to food. Mm, no, he's given up. Let's dock on Mutton Island and see what it's like. And then, as promised, we shall turn round and head back to London. Discovered Quaker's Haven. into dock. Right, let's have a look around. What can we do here? We can have drinks at the Cock and Magpie. That looks like it will reduce terror and it'll cost us 20 echo. We can pick up a wretched mog. That looks like that will cost us five supplies and it will unlock a new pet. I'm not going to do that, but I'll tell you what guys. If you would like me to do that, make a note in the comments. And if you, if a number of people do, I will come back and get it. We can wander a little way along the shore. We can chat to the fishermen, or we can visit the hilltop above the town. There's not much wind in the Untersee, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from inexplicably local fragment of weather. 
and the air on the hintop sometimes carries interesting scents. Let's give it a try. Ooh, you have a secret. Right. You stand on a cliff top, looking over the little village. Smoke from the chimney of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. As you watch, the smoke tilts. The sudden wind thins to a pencil smudge, then nothing. The wind screams unexpectedly, like a god cut in half. What a noise! It must be the caves around the island channeling the air. At least, that's the most comforting explanation. Below you, the locals each take nips from a shared flask and make toasts toward the mainland. The wind is southerly. Okay, we've gained 26 fragments, and we've succeeded in the page challenge, and we've gained 2 Terra. I can live with that. What else can we do? We can chat to the fishermen. Okay, let's chat to the fishermen. That gives us a port report. Pirates plying the waves, smugglers at their work, carnate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. So that cost us an echo, but we will gain that back when we get to London, and I should imagine more. And I don't want to do either of those. So, guys, let's set off, shall we? We'll roop out this way a little bit, have a... We've discovered Westergren's fire. Can we dock at this lighthouse? Can we avoid these crabs? Looks like the answer to both of these questions is no. Okay, normal standard stuff here. I think the next one I will record some observations on to see uh, what I get for that and what the risks are because let's face it we're killing these guys before they can damage us at the moment so I don't even know what its uh, attacks are let's dissect it we've gained a fragment okay so we'll fight this one fight and we shall just observe it three Locate illumination needed and then observe it. Okay, 10 observations. Uh, requires illumination 25. There we go, that's why. So, again, three, seven. There should do it. There we go, we got 10. So, let's just blow the thing up. Oh, this is a new attack. What's this? Appalling cry. Oh yes, I remember this one just gives terror. Or at least it would if we hadn't killed it. Right, let's record our observations. The children of the arthropod phylum are not known for their powers of expression. Nevertheless, something about its behaviour as you observed it. The wild abandon of its clicking claws, the merry flip of its shell, suggests not so much pain as abandoned delight. What impulses drive it? That was worth a fragment. Okay. These are not... Can we dissect it again? That was odd. Never mind. Alright, no, it doesn't look like we can stop at uh, Westergren's fire. Which is a shame, but never mind. Perhaps in a later expansion. What's this? Ooh, two and a half fuel left. Flitterstone Isle. Can we dock there? Not obviously. Let's see what the map has to say. It says, not obviously. Okay, time to head back to home. Well, we still have fuel to do it. Looks like an interesting place, mine, doesn't it? Looks like a farm. Let's 
discovered Rowena's rocks. We're certainly gaining the knowledge, we're gaining the secrets. There's a lighthouse there, but we don't have any recent... We didn't pick up any, did we? Let me just check that. No, we didn't. Okay, moving on. Oh, look, a crab. What a surprise. They're like bats, but without the charm. Laughter from the foredeck. Happy sailors. How odd. Oh, he's catching up with us, isn't he? Look at the little trooper struggle. Well, if you want to die, die. Go, that's fifty. And that's them done for. Um dissect it quickly. Yes, we gained a fragment. Nice. Let's check the map here. Slightly off course, thought so. And if we're lucky, we're just gonna have enough fuel to get us into dock. There we go. Don't really want to fight that uh, crab. There's only so many of them you can fight before the fun runs out. Last barrel of fuel used up. But it's good enough to make us into dock. Okay, collect messages from the harbour master. Somebody wants to sign on. Okay. What can we do? Let's go into our lodgings first. Read the newspaper. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside a palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of nail-biter wasps. Lost some terror. Our fragments haven't changed, and we've gained some recent news, and I want to try using that somewhere soon. Okay. We can rest. We don't really need to get rid of the terror. Actually, what is our terror? Our terror is 39. <sighs> oh, yes. Collect our prize money. From the total value of the prizes you've sent home, the Crown and the Bazaar have deducted prize tax, prize tariffs, running costs, repairs, and misery surcharge. Nevertheless, a good sum remains, spend it in good health. So we've got our crew back and we've gained 50 echo. I think we can afford to rent a room. Let's do that. So we've had a restful night. That will help us when our terrors increase. We've lost one terror. Okay, I can live with that. And is there anything else we can do here? Nothing. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Right as long as the Z. We basically have to go everywhere by the looks of it. And no, just a couple of places and from the, I'm guessing from here that Mount Palmerston is actually not the easiest place to get to, so that was probably a bad idea of ours. Or oh, ours, I say ours. I'm blaming you, but it's my fault. Okay, enough of that. Don't want to talk to him yet. Hopefully he'll be back. What does Desperate Measures do? Search for supplies. A few last supplies. Don't need to do that. We're in port now. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, shops. That's pick up some provisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
10. Okay, that's cost us 100 echoes, but we're back refueled, and that's the important thing. Wrong one. Uh, I want to go into London. Right, we can spend a secret to uh, become an antiquarian. Which I think we're going to do. We can pick it, off a passage some tomb colonists, which we're definitely going to do. We can put our ship into crew, dry dock, which we're not going to do. And let's see what recruits we have. So, we can engage an officer, the irresponsible cannoneer. Or we can engage an officer, the sigil ridden navigator. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? I. Let me guide your ship. I know all the Z. How it was. How it will be. Please, I. The headaches only stop when I'm working. Okay. The first office will increase mirrors, and I definitely want to increase mirrors. Let's increase mirrors. That's not bad. Offices. Mirrors plus six, vowels plus three. Very nice, actually. That's good. And can we speak to him? Okay, we can invite him to dine with us, but that story is not there yet. And we can spend a secret to gain a, a, a mirror. Let's do that. We've lost one secret, we've gained one mirror. That mirror's total is excellent. Shall we... let's see what he wants. Speak to... He'll help improve our pages. And our pages score is 26. Hmm. I think that's a good investment, actually. So we've lost a secret. We've gained one pages. Okay. Come on, Squeaky. What do you got to say for yourself? Attract his attention. Play. That eye roll says, play. I played once, in the happy warrens of London, before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dried food. Damn your play. It's an eloquent lie roll. I do love Squeaky. I do really love Squeaky. Right, back to London. What else can we do? We can go to the university, we can go to the Admiralty office. We just go to the Admiralty office. Hunter's Keep. Port report. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty. Notionally. So we gained Admiralty favour. And we gained a port. We lost a port report. And we gained five echo. Which as we've just about run out. Not bad. Quaker's Haven. <laughs> Been trying the original rubbery lumps have we? We've gained another Admiralty's favour. And we've gained five echo. Yes, I can live with that. What a vendor bite. We gained one Admiralty's favour. And I think we've just been noticed by the Admiral. And ten echo. Good. So let's visit. What's this say? No current commission. Admiralty's favour. Visit the dark spec. Yes, let's do this one. Ask what he wants. Visit a port and we will be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest and we will be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. His lip curls. What's left of it? Hey, we submitted port reports, relatively chart, we can't do, speaker moves in the game, we can't do, ask if anything in particular he needs. This port. Speak to our agent there in return, we'll see that you're reported, uh, rewarded. Um, polythreme, somewhere a good way east of London. Well, we won't be doing that anywhere soon, but let's take the job anyway. Are we done with London? 
possibly take on another crewman. No, that would spend all of our money. I think we're done with London. Um, did we pick up? Yes, we picked up some tomb colonists. We could go up to Vendabite. I think that's actually probably not a bad idea. So we'll pick up a cast of mushroom wine because we know we can sell that for a profit. And it looks like that, ladies and gentlemen, has been 30 minutes. So this seems like a good place to end. We'll do so. Thank you very much, guys. This has been Sunless Sea. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you, and good night.